Sandborn paddles stand out on the water and on the rack. Optional hand-painted shafts in several different heritage designs blend art with craftsmanship, making these truly unique paddles. The gentle 7 degree bend in the little sag was pleasantly surprising. The increase in power over a straight shaft is noticeable, yet control strokes like the J aren't affected. This paddle belongs in the collection of touring canoeists who appreciate a paddle with character. The walnut and ash veneer on the broad blade faces of Grey Owl's newest paddle really does resemble an eagle feather. Blended with a unique combination of butternut, bird's eye maple, basswood and white cedar, the paddle is both sturdy and relatively light. A partial urethane tip protects the blade from delamination and splitting of the grain. Its oval shape is tailored for deep water recreational or tripping paddlers. Because of its strength to weight balance, carbon remains the standard for high performance paddles. The new Black Pearl is an unconventional head turner for bending branches, known for its wooden blades. Marathoners will love this paddle as the 11 degree bend gives lots of oomph to each stroke and the grip is more comfortable for long tours than many sprint racing paddles. Most noticeable is what's absent. Weighing in at an astounding 14 ounces, you'll barely notice you're holding a paddle. Badger Paddles Cherry Tripper performs just as well for soloists as it does for tandem trippers. A long, narrow blade pr provides excellent leverage needed for the deep stroke used in solo and freestyle paddling. The shape also results in an efficient, low-impact stroke ideal for all-day distance canoeing. Smaller frame paddlers will appreciate the tripper's scaled-down shaft diameter and grip, while larger paddlers will likely prefer the more substantial proportions of the badger paw.